Welcome to our Family of Christ worship service on this Palm Sunday. Even though we may not be gathered here in the sanctuary, this parade of Palm Sunday can go out into our homes in different ways. We're anticipating that we're going to be able to start this parade and recognize that some of you received palm branches, perhaps in the mail, at least that palm cross that, uh, that we have a little bit of here. Some of you may not have palms. No, wait a second. You do have palms. And we're going to invite you to wave your palms, just like we would in any other parade or party, as we realize that we're anticipating Jesus coming into our, uh, coming into our view, coming into our life. Oh, on that first Palm Sunday, I doubt that many people knew exactly that Jesus was coming down the road, but they joined in anyway. When they heard, blessed is the one who's coming in the name of the Lord, then they respond, Lord, save us, which comes out as Hosanna in the highest. Lord, save us in a high way. We invite you to join too and share as we say, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. And we say, Hosanna in the highest. Well, let's get this parade started. I'm going to pass some out and soon. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All right, let's go on. Kate, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Let's go on out and let's share in the parade. Hey, Barb. Hey, Kate, what are you doing? Come join us in the parade. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hold on. You can't come into church today. We're keeping social distance, but that doesn't mean we can't continue to take our journey with Jesus. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. And you get to say, Hosanna in the highest. Yeah. <laughs> blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. <laughs> Hey, join the parade. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. There you go. We'll keep we say Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Wait a minute. <laughs> Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. <laughs> Hosanna in the highest. Yeah. Hosanna in the highest. The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 21st chapter. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. When they had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethagy at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this. The Lord needs them, and he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, and on a colt, a fool of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt, and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and that followed him were shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna to the, to the son, son of David! David. Blessed, Blessed is the is one who comes, comes in the name of the Lord. Of the Lord. Hosanna in the, the highest. highest heaven! When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This, this is the is prophet, prophet Jesus, Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. And also with you. We praise you, O God for redeeming the world through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Today, he entered the holy city in triumph, and he was proclaimed Messiah and King. 
by those who were able to spread garments and branches along his way. Bless these branches. Bless these palms. Bless these palms. And those who carry them. Grant us grace so that we may follow our Lord in the way of the cross, that we may use our palms in carrying the cross, so that joined to his death and his resurrection, we may enter into life with you. Through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever, and we all say, Amen. Amen. Let's continue on this journey with Jesus in peace. In the name of Christ, amen. amen. And we join in singing all glory, laud, and honor. All glory, laud, and honor to your Redeemer King, to whom the lips of children made sweet hosanna. You are the King of Israel and David's royal son. Now in the Lord's name calling, our King and blessed one. Come and honor, and honor to you, Redeemer King, to whom the lips of children with you. Everlasting God, in your endless love for the human race, you sent our Lord Jesus Christ to take on our nature and to suffer death on the cross. In your mercy, enable us to share in his obedience to your will and in the glorious victory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Philippians, the second chapter. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited. But emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness, and being found in human form. He humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God also exalted him and gave him a name that is above every other name. So that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And, and every, every tongue, tongue should confess, confess that Jesus Christ, Christ is Lord, Lord 
to the glory of God the Father. Word of God, word of life. Thanks Thanks be to God. Welcome on this Palm Sunday. This is the time for the sermon, and our sermons have been very different. You may have received a palm branch, and you may have been able to say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You may have been able to say, Hosanna. Hosanna is actually just a word that means, save us now. Isn't that a great prayer for right now? It's a parade that we're seeing Jesus go through. You may not have received your palms. You may be using instead your palms. And in fact, we're encouraging today that we, that we take pictures of our palms as we're praying for various areas of our community. During this week, we hope to put some videos online of where we are bringing the cross and praying for people in need. And realizing that this parade for Jesus, this Palm Sunday, is a parade that has been going on a long, long time. In fact, it started long before Palm Sunday. The parade was longer than the streets of Jerusalem. The parade extends all the way from God's throne, is what we heard in one of the lessons, where Christ Jesus refused to receive status and glory, but instead he made it a parade of care and of compassion and of obedience, a deep, deep listening to God's desire for grace to move through this world, to parade through the world, that the palms of Jesus would be able to reach out in care and compassion through all the streets of suffering, that that the hands of Jesus would bring dignity and uh, righteousness to areas of humanity that were forgotten. Because Jesus wanted this parade not to go through just the places of glory. He wanted the parade of God's love to touch and to reach deep into humanity, to vanquish the powers, but not the powers in the way we would use maybe tanks and missiles, but in fact to vanquish in ways of humility, riding on a donkey, riding uh, into the... uh, into the streets in order to conquer sin and evil and death itself. And in fact, that in fact, this parade wants to focus on God's love and compare God's face to that of the need of the world. This is what it means that every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Christ Let's talk about that confession that Christ is Lord. There's a dual nature to that confession. The first part is a confession of our need to have that parade come into our lives, to have that parade of Jesus' love walk to us, that his palms, not just the palms that are strewn on the ground, not just the palms that make up Palm Sunday, but the palms of Jesus' hands, are going to reach into our need. And so we've been bringing a parade of words to the cross over these, uh, over these weeks, a parade of recognizing our need. I'm going to ask Kate to help me here as we remember some of the words that we brought. And you are able now to sign some of these words. You remember how we brought sin? Yeah, there you go, Kate. Yeah, we brought sin, but we also talked about how all of us are tempted And we all come with our doubts. Yep, you got it. And then uh, we admitted that all of us have various fears. And we confess those fears. We bring those anxieties to God. We realize that all of us have a feeling of being broken. Yeah, like the blind man, but also other beggars who are on the side of the road. And then last week we talked about bound, but we didn't use bound 
like Lazarus just bound in cloth. We talked about how we are bound, and we use the sign for uh, being able to be bound and captive to sin because Jesus is our redeemer. Good. All right, Kate, you get to go with our word for this week. Here it comes, denial. And what a week to talk about denial. All of us have various denials that we need to bring before the cross. In fact, it loosens our anxieties if we're able to bring those denials to the cross. Well, you know, denial would be this, just a double knot sign. That's not what we're going to use. Okay? In fact, what we learned a number of weeks ago is that Jesus invites us to deny ourselves. If we use the sign to let go, deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow him. Oh, you remember very well. So we're going to talk about denying ourselves, taking up a cross, and following. Let's talk about our denials, of those things that we need to maybe let go of and allow our palms to be free. When I was talking with some people this week about how do we, how do we talk about Palm Sunday and how do we talk about our denial, we got into a conversation of that confession, of that need to be able to confess and to let go of some things before Jesus. First, there needs to be a trust that Jesus is able to... Uh, is able to, to handle, hold all of the things that we have. So we, we come to Jesus, we come to the cross with some things that we may need to deny ourselves. I know I need to deny myself of some anxiety. With all the changes of schedules, with all the changes in the way things are working, with all the feelings that I have of guilt at not able to uh, not being able to accomplish or do everything that I, I want or that I was able to do in the past. With all of the anxiety of the, of the wonder that's around, I need to have a place to let go, to let go of that anxiety and not let it control me. That's a confession, a confession that we bring it to Jesus, not try to fix it ourselves at first, but instead... Of, of understanding when we bring it to Jesus that Jesus calls us to be in a different parade. Someone else said they needed to, to be able to let go of control because they were not able to control everything. They needed to confess that control to try and make everything in order. Or the way that control sometimes comes out in an overbearing nature of, of how we treat some other people. They needed to let go of that control. And another person was talking about how they had to, to let go and open their hands. That once their hands were opened, then they were able to, to uh, assist in somebody else falling back. And being able to assist in what they call spotting. Helping somebody who is falling and so that they're able to hold them up to care in some way. That when we let go of some things, it actually helps us to be able to, to realize we can care, that there's others that are in need with us. I was pleased, for example, that some people were, were responding very quickly to some of the needs of Carney's Village, that little group of people that's in a halfway house here on East 25th Street. They need food because there's some 30 people that are moving in trying to find treatment during this time in, in a way that helps them be able to, to have need. They need, some, uh, they need in their place some, some non-perishable items like canned goods and like ramen noodles. I was pleased that some people let go in some way in order to open their hands to care. But actually, when we let go, we find that we're opening our hands to receive. This is part of the parade that we are, that we are joining with this Jesus. It doesn't seem like a, a parade of power, not in the way that we expect. Instead, Jesus comes humble with compassion and with care. And he does move through 
our uh, Kearney area, as well as other areas of the world. And he enlists others who are saying, Hosanna, save us now. But also who are saying, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the king. Or as Paul put it in our second lesson, that he is Lord. We're going to have a chance to confess that too. To profess, Christ is Lord. Even when we may not be able to see where the road quite goes, we know that this Jesus, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Amen. you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way. From the earth to the cross, my debt to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. sharing in the Apostles' Creed today, but we're going to do it in a special way. Since this is a day focused on, uh, on Jesus's parade for us, let's talk about the parade of words as we hear it in our catechism. You'll notice on your screen we have the explanation of the second article of the Creed, the second article about Jesus, and there's words that you're invited to join in and to share together. The same words that we heard from our Philippians lessons. And it goes like this. I believe that Jesus Christ, true God, begotten of the Father in eternity, and also a true human being, born of the Virgin Mary, is my Lord. He has redeemed me, a lost and condemned human being. He has purchased and freed me from all sins, from death and from the power of the devil, not with gold or silver, but with his holy precious blood and with his innocent suffering and death. He has done all this in order that I may belong to him, live under him in his kingdom, and serve him in eternal righteousness, innocence, and blessedness, just as he has risen from the dead and lives and rules eternally. This is most certainly true. The prayers of the people, turning our hearts to God who is gracious and merciful, we pray for the church, for the world, and all who are in need. God of mercy, awaken your church to new proclamations of your faithfulness. By your spirit, give us bold and joyful words to speak that we may sustain the weary with the message of your redemption. Hear yes, us, O oh God. God. Your, your mercy, mercy is great. God of mercy, quiet the earth where it trembles and shakes, especially in the wake of this pandemic. Protect the threats to life, habitats, and any endangered. Prosper the work of scientists, engineers, and researchers who find ways to restore creation to health and wholeness. Hear us, O oh God. Your, Your mercy, mercy is, is great. great. God of mercy, drive away fear and anger 
that cause us to turn against one another. Give courage to leaders who seek liberation for the oppressed. Bring peace and hope to those who are imprisoned or captive. Hear us, O God. Your mercy, Your mercy is, is great. great. God of mercy, send your saving help to all who suffer abuse, insult, discrimination, or contempt. Heal the wounded, comfort the dying, bring peace to those suffering chronic or terminal illness, tend to all who cry out for relief, especially those whom we name in these moments. Hear us, O oh God. Your, Your mercy, mercy is great. God of mercy, we pray for all who will prepare and lead worship in this holy week. In all things, show us the ways that you call us to die to self, to live for you, and to give of ourselves for the sake of others. Hear us, O oh God. Your, Your mercy, mercy is, is great. great. God of mercy, when we breathe our last, you raise us to eternal life with all your witnesses in heaven and on earth, especially those whom we may remember in this moment. Let us boldly confess the name of Christ Jesus, our resurrection and our hope. Hear us, O God, your mercy, your mercy is great. According to your steadfast love, O God, hear these and all our prayers as we commend them to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And together we join in saying the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, O God, maker of all things. Through your goodness you have blessed us with so many gifts. Our souls, our time, and all possessions and resources. Use us in what we have gathered in, feeding the world with your love through the one who gave himself for us, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Peace be with you. <laughs> um, we've been talking a lot about palms today. Uh, and for the peace this Sunday, we'd like to invite you to, to use your palms uh, to, to, to pull out your phone, um, or, or maybe you have an old-fashioned phone too, that works, um, and think of somebody who you haven't had contact with for a while. Um, reach out, give them a call, say, the peace of the Lord be with you, um, and, then, and then take time to be in conversation, to continue to have those relationships that are so important for, for us as people and as the people of God. So again, I say, peace be with you. And also with you. <laughs> me 
This is just the start of our Palm Parade as we uh, go out into Holy Week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all the way through Easter Sunday, next Sunday. But you're invited to participate in different ways. First, we'll have some online videos, hopefully for each day of the week, which you can find on the YouTube channel and we'll, we'll send you messages if you wish uh, as to how they are going to be, uh, how they're going to be aired. But we'd like for you to participate in a couple of different ways too. You shared your palms, maybe palms like this, but palms like this. Could you take pictures of your palms? Oh, and take pictures of your bare feet too. We're going to walk this journey in different ways. We won't put any names with your feet or with your palms, but you can send the pictures of your, of your palms or of your feet or both. Send them uh, to Micah Spruth Jansen. His address, email address is on the screen, or you could send them to Family of Christ Carney. We prefer that we get an email of these pictures and gradually you're going to see how they form I'm going to be elaborate and say it's going to become a cruciform. It is going to become an area in which we are able to pull together this journey with Jesus together and realize that Jesus lifted his hands, holy hands, for us. But then we get to take communion together this next Sunday. At the same time that we're, uh, we're uh, going to be gathering our pictures of our palms, we're going to have people with holy hands, actually they'll be very clean, sanitized as we bring Holy Communion out to households. If you're on our email list or address list, we probably are already preparing to bring a, a package to you, kind of like the feeding of the 5,000. We'll have consecrated the elements and we'll show that as part of our service next Easter, or next Sunday at Easter Sunday. And then you'll be able to take communion in your home. These are, these are cups that are sealed along with, a, along with a wafer that is available for each family member. Again, if you wish to be joined into our community, you can use the email addresses and correspond with us or call us at the church office. As it is, we invite you to recognize you're part of a family of Christ. Maybe not congregated together here in a building, but we are gathered together on this journey towards the cross. And with that, I'd love for you to receive the blessing. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is well. It is well.